well remember your first arrival at Arlington Hall. You came somewhat unexpectedly. No, 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 if you would, please excuse me. One might even say impulsively, Kenton. I used to remember these afternoons when you sat there. On the side, you saw through my heart, through Excuse my you. emptiness. You mean a great deal to this and house. And you told me to listen. You're extremely important to this house. What have you done Stevens. to me? You say. What have you done? I have something to tell you. I wanna get over you sometimes. I'm very, very Want tired. You get forward. Don't you understand? My friend, I never the man I'm going to meet tonight, he has asked me to marry you him. Were home <laughs> both my you sir? I accept Mr. Ben's proposal of marriage. You know, yes, Mr. Stevens. It's just like a funeral. My congratulations. Say goodbye to you again. For a lifetime. You must try to do all you can to make these years happy ones for yourself and for your husband. All my life, try to not know. People always cheer when they turn the lights on. Oh my God. What do I do? Why do you always have to hide what you feel? It's just a sentimental almost. The evening's the best part of the day. We may never meet again, Mrs. Ben. That is why I permit myself to be so personal. Thank you, Mrs. Stevens. Thank you so very much for coming. Thank you. 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 Thank you.